using a Photoshop droplet with your photo booth will take your photos to the next level. Let me show you how to use a droplet with your PhotoMaster mirror booth. Okay, so let me explain to you very simply what a droplet is. First of all, you do need Photoshop. You need Photoshop running in the background. And what we do is we just change colors and all this kind of stuff with a photo and we record it and then we save it as a droplet. So then all the things that we do to the photo will be saved in the droplet. And then we can apply those changes to all the photos. A droplet icon looks just like this, uh, arrow with a PS there. And uh, it's very simple. Let me just bring in a photo here. We have a photo. Please guys, remember, once you apply the droplet to a photo, it will replace the photo. So make sure you duplicate it. Duplicate your photo before you drop it on a droplet, okay? And that's pretty cool because it's called a droplet because we drop things onto it. I do have Photoshop running right now in the background. So I'm just gonna click on a duplicate of this photo and drop it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a peek at the properties here just to show you guys that we need to have a really good quality photo, okay? So this one is 2656, uh, 3984 uh, pixels. It's a very large photo, okay? It's a raw image, and that's what your camera will take. Uh, your DSLR camera will take a raw image at this size. So make sure you guys are using nice quality size images. And what we do is just drop it on a droplet, and boom, Photoshop does this thing. And you can see here that the photo has changed to a black and white, the original versus the new one. And all I did was drop it and it took two seconds for Photoshop to apply the droplet. It was so much fun. And we're gonna try that again. Let's just bring in another photo here. I'm gonna bring in one more photo, just to drop it on the droplet again. Okay, here's another image. I'll bring it in right now. I duplicate it, so control C and V or whatever you have to do to duplicate it, drop it, Photoshop does this thing, boom, done. There it is. So this droplet is a black and white filter and it changes the photo to black and white. Now, because a Photoshop droplet is an executable file, exe file, Windows does not like it worried about viruses and all this stuff. So um, if you double click on the icon, you might get this window here. And just touch more info here, click on that. And then this screen will pop up and you'll select run anyways. This will prevent Windows from stopping and popping up a window to warn you about a virus. Okay, so make sure you do those steps. Okay, so on to the mirror booth. Now make sure you have Photoshop open. I just open up Photoshop now, and now I see it's here, and I'll just minimize it. And I can see at the bottom here that Photoshop is open and running. I just touched on the mirror booth here, and we'll open this up. Here we go. PhotoMaster mirror booth, I'm using version 11 here, version 12, version 10, all works. Uh, so I'm just, just going to pick a workflow here. I'm going to pick that one and duplicate it. We'll call this droplet. Droplet example. And we'll add that. Copy that. Okay, so we're just going to add a workflow. So we have a new workflow here. Preset. I'm going to create a new event so I know all my photos go into that folder. Okay, so we have a new preset, a new workflow. I'm going to go to the photo layout just to show you that we do have a photo and we have an overlay here. And now I will go to the workflow. This is the workflow that was duplicated, so we're just going to change it up here, take out things we don't want and add some things we want. So let's just take out a bunch of stuff. Let's take out that. Take out that. Let's add a state here. I, I want to touch the start, let's say. So we'll just add an animation and we'll put in a touch to start here. Okay, just go to mirror booth. Touch the start and we'll just pick one of these. Here we go. 
Okay, so we have a touch of start, as we can see here in the preview. Oops, I changed the trigger here to touch. There we go. Okay, then state two, three, and four will be our countdown. Three, two, one, and then photo is taken. So right here, we will add a state. This is where we add the droplet, with an external script right there. You click on that, and now we can go ahead and select a droplet. So I'm going to click on that. And then I do have some droplets right here, so we'll just pick that one. And then make sure you click on here. Check on Add Last Raw Photo Path. Okay, and save. Now we have a droplet that will, will be applied to the photo. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a signature. Sometimes a droplet may take a little bit of time, so you might want to add an animation or two, at least one animation. Uh, but the ones I have here are pretty fast, so one animation will do. Uh, but I'll just put in signature just to give us a little bit of time. Um, let's just add a compliment here. Okay. Now here, I'm going to add a state, okay? I'm going to add a feature, and then I'm going to bring back the photo. There we go, so reload raw photos. So that's going to bring back the photo that was just photoshopped, okay? And then we can preview it. So we're going to add it one more time here. I just like it twice, okay? So reload, okay? So what I did here now is I have reload raw photos, save final photo, and then I want to move that up here to reload again and then now we can preview it. You probably don't need reload raw photos twice but I like to add it twice just to make sure. Let's run the workflow and see how it works. I don't have my camera on right now so we'll just use the stock image signature. We'll skip that. Done. And now we will preview the DSLR photo with the droplet. There it is, black and white. That easy, guys. Okay, so back to the workflow, and let's say I want to use a different, a different droplet. I just click on that, and let's try a different. Let's try a cartoon one. Okay, save, and let's run it. Now notice on the bottom here, Photoshop is running. Watch what happens when a photo is taken. You can see Photoshop brings it up. And the cartoon one takes a little bit longer, so that took about five seconds. And now we will see a droplet with the cartoon effect here. Boom. So you can switch out the droplets as you wish. If you have a lot of droplets, you can just go through them all and find the one that works best for you. Using a droplet on your photo booth will make your photos look like they're Photoshop because, well, they are. Enjoy, guys.